Setting it up for Constance. Uh, he's maybe hit the ball a little bit far, and it's gone down to the Randhall player. Uh, Mohamed Moyes there managed to steal the ball, but now it's now being backed away by Saladin. Saladin sent the ball up nicely for Pablo. Pablo's been manhandled by Facundo, but he seems to come with a beautiful near side there. Pablo's going for goal. Is he going to be able to control the ball? He's had another hit, and he's unfortunately just a way to the right one. What a wonderful piece of play from uh, Pablo here. That brings us to nearly the six minute mark of this chapter, so they've got uh, 60 seconds to go. Now we're going to see the Randhold player play the ball from out behind. Hassan is going to play the ball. What's he going to do? He picks it up, he taps it, he's controlling it again. He's looking for his player. Beautiful big get down downfield by Pablo. Set it up to Constance. Constance got a little bit better on his hands with Mohamed Moyes over there, but it looks to me like Constance checked his pony and has come away with the ball. We have a bit of a scrum here, but uh, there goes Fakunda away from the ball. Beautifully picked up out the back there. Unfortunately, he's gone over the top and left it behind and left it for Sullivan. Sullivan is putting his mallet up, claiming the uh, foul, and in this case, he does claim it. We see there that the Renholm player actually rode across his line, and uh, good play by Sullivan. He was able to draw the foul. So we now have a 5 a He's going to slightly tap it. He's tapping it, he's giving him control. He's looking for his players out the front there. He picks up the ball, a lovely little hit up the middle of the field. But unfortunately, Constance was able to do a beautiful near side and send it away down to Facundo. Facundo picks up the ball and he's going for all. Has he got the horsepower out around the Randhill player there? He's controlling the ball, he's keeping the ball out in front so he can prevent the hook of the stick and he managed to go for that. What a wonderful, wonderful goal. And that brings us to seven minutes, which is the end of the fourth chapter. And Four to the opponent. So Ron Hall run out the winners of those two chapter uh, round robin, and we're going to see Ron behind the green team. I think we're going to be here in Malaysia, and uh, it's, it's families like this that make sure that I think we're going to have Daniel, uh, umpire Daniel, roll the ball in. Just waiting for Steve to get on his horse and get out into the field. Umpiring is a very critical part of polo. I mean, there I, are I very that. few rules in polo. Most of the rules are actually made up for the safety of the players and the horses. And here the balls rolled in. We've got, uh, we've got, we've got salad and beautiful near side. Gains control of the ball. He's going, sending the ball up the paddock. Hits it once. He's coming up, controlling his pony, checking his pony. Lovely neck shot. Sends it into the middle to, to Pablo. And Pablo comes down. He's got time. He's got control of the ball. Is he able to send the ball through the goal? No, unfortunately he just uh, lost control of the ball before the goal mouth and sent it right. So now what's going to happen is Peter Sass, the yellow team, or the green team will play the ball off the back of the line. It's like a goal kick in soccer and the ball goes in the back of the line. And that's hit him nicely by Peter Sass. He sends the ball up nicely to one of his players, but unfortunately the ball has rolled over the boards and so they'll stop play and go back for the ball and roll the ball in and there'll be a scrum. Who comes away with it? It's to me like... Ranholm's come around, no, not Ranholm, um, uh, Dan Mohammed is going there to go, but he's been, been written off by Emmanuel Pesu, who packs the ball to his team, it's picked up again by another Pedersas player, but the ball is bouncing, um, Frankie's trying to get over, unfortunately it looks to me like a stick got put, so Pedersas is coming away with the ball. Zachary's coming up the ball, he, nice tap, he's still got control of the ball. What's going to do with it? Oh, unfortunately, it comes off the side of his middle and goes over the board. So, all those other players will come back to where the ball came out over the board and have another roll in. Scores currently 0 0. We are only two minutes into the first chapter. Tungbu Amir has a beautiful backhand, but unfortunately, it comes off one of the Rolf Hank Ponies, lovely backhand up there by Rolf Hank. Who's going to use it? Tungbu Amir goes for a backhand, gets it away. It wasn't the greatest of shot. Unfortunately, one of his team members was covering the ball and was unable to send the ball out. We've got Saladin, who has a beautiful neck shot, sends it right into the middle of the paddock for his teammate Datu Moyes. He picks up a really lovely shot, sends it out the ball, trying to keep it in control, trying not to hit it too hard so that the opposition will pick up the ball. Lovely shot by Datu Moyes. He's coming under the ball, but unfortunately might have hit that just a little bit too far, and was able to get a backhand by you know, one of the Codices players. Again, it's picked up by Royal Pahang, but there's a little bit of a rock in the middle there. I can't actually tell who the players are, but 
whistle on the play. Um, somebody has crossed the line, takes the big wide up, hits the ball, it goes low, but is anybody able to stop it? Oh, yes, and it comes off one of the um, Curtis Sass players, but there's a bit of a ruck going on here, and hard to see what happened. The whistle blows, and I would ask them to win the Curtis Sass in the green, so they'll come away with the ball. Mandy Wall has got the ball, he's controlling the ball. He's trying to get the better off his pass out in here so he can send a big pass up to one of his players, which he does. Lovely hit downfield, but unfortunately, there's too good a hit and he's gone out over the boards. Okay. We're uh, just, um, just under three and a half minutes of this first chopper scores, and still 0 0. Just to roll the ball in and the players get in play in place. And as well, let's see if rolls the ball and who comes away with it. Looks like Sullivan comes away with it, goes for the nice little backhand, sends it through this player. Unfortunately, we spoke to Pedro Sass, but uh, his work and teammate picks up the ball. Pablo is going for goal. Has he got control of the ball? A beautiful near side backhand and sends the ball. Unfortunately, it's just gone a little bit wide to the right. Great play though, the way he controlled that ball and picked it up out of there on the near side is no mean feat. Unfortunately, it was just a little bit right. Now we've got Codices coming back. Pingo there sends the ball north. He's been trying to pick out one of his players. Manuel has picked the beautiful backhand by Salad in there. Gets it to his teammate. Pushing it through in a moment. Moyes has got a little bit of fight on his hand with Codices, who's going to come off the ball. Thomas is able to do it, but uh, Dr. Moyes was uh, unfortunately when he went to back the ball went over the back line. So Peter Sass will now have a, have a hit in from behind the line. Peter Sass sends the ball down. We've got Thomas going out. He's trying to do a beautiful backhand, sends the ball in. We've now who's going to come off the ball? Looks like Peter Sass has picked up the ball. Many of the wall behinds claiming the foul, and the whistle goes the foul is awarded to wall behind. Lines up, takes a shot, goes along the ground. What's going to happen here? It's uh, picked up there by Curtis Sass. Curtis Sass is coming away with the ball. Um, Dr. Moyes has tried to back the ball, but unfortunately went over the top. They've now got Sullivan who turns the ball. He's now got control of the ball. He's Chipping his way towards goal, is he able to control the ball? He's coming to goal and he puts the goal through and great goal there by Saladin. Fantastic control of the ball, was able to weave his way through. Yeah, it looks to me like Saladin backs the horse race between Curtis Ass and well, it looks to me like that to Moise, is it kind of Moise? It manages to be a beautiful back and sends the ball down. He can pick this one up. Yeah, okay, now we are. So now we've got the players uh, fighting for the ball. He's going to come away with a beautiful backhand down there by one of the Curtis Sass eyeball players. Sorry, the world behind players. Back down there by Curtis Sass. Picked up, picked up by... Okay. Another backhand there by Royal Pahang. He's going to come away with this ball. So Manny Rose picked up the ball. He's got in control of the ball. He's turning, he's facing going for goal, he's been ridden off there by one of the well behind players. Mohamed Moyes is doing his best to obstruct the play without getting a penalty. And what have we got going here? Ball in, that's a goal. So when a uh, when, uh, player is going for goal like that, the opposition can do their best to try an intricate piece of play. Dado Moyes was able to get in and unfortunately the goal was scored. So now we have a score of 1 0. And that brings the end of the Brings, uh, brings the end of on one goal and on um, par Steve. Steve, can you come? And more t-shirts from Zach's tag as well. So it's worth going out there for the trading at the end of this channel. Peter. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, please make sure you go out after this for the uh, trade Now we're underway in the fifth chucker. Beautiful near side backhand, backhand by the Royal Pahang player. Uh, it's uh, picked up by Tungurame, who sends the ball down for his player. We've now got Thomas going for goal. He's also got the uh, unfortunate ball back, but 
some of them picks up the ball from the bad box and claim the foul by Curtis Sass. I think Dr. Zachary there fi figured that uh, Dean had crossed his line and the umpire agreed with him. So now we're going to see a uh, foul awarded in favour of Curtis Sass and we'll just see what umpiring in and he will try to send this ball. He hits the ball, looks the ball, the ball goes over the top and looking for the, um, the line umpire and the ball is up. That's a beautiful goal. So now we have Curtis Sass eyeball going ahead 2-1 in the sixth and to the middle line. Who's the ball and who's going to come away with this ball? Looks to me like Saladin has uh, left the ball behind. Curtis Sass picks up the ball, sends it out to the boards. He's got it under control. He tries to set up beautiful Nick Chuck sends it up to his player who's coming up. But unfortunately, it looks to me like that ball might have been a little bit long. He's going to be picked up by Saladin. Saladin is controlling the ball, bringing him out of the centre of the field. Goes for the big neck shot, but unfortunately leaves the ball behind. He's going to pick it up. One of his players picks up the ball. Beautiful shot. Saladin goes. Saladin's a beautiful shot down the middle. He's trying to pick up one of his players, but unfortunately the codices was able to um, send it back. Uh, we've got a bit of backhand there by Codices. Another backhand by Codices. Sending the ball up a little bit of a production line here. Pablo backs the ball, little backhand, but unfortunately get picks up by Frankie. Frankie's going, uh, he's been written off there by Dabo Moyes, but he's still got control of the ball. Checks his pony, tries to get around his uh, opposition. Beautifully controlled, play sends the ball up for his teammate, for his number one. Who's going to get to the ball first? Looks to me like it is well behind, but he leaves the ball behind and the ball goes over the back line. We will have a play off the back line by Robert behind. So, <coughs> Royal Band comes off the back line, players controlling the ball, sends it out to the right hand, unfortunately comes a little bit off the angle of his runner. Mohammed picks it up, uh, they like unfortunately bounces off the pony and goes over the boards for a roll one. Steve Evans waiting for the players to line up. Rolls the ball and the ball goes out the back. Pablo gets the ball, backs up, tries to back it into one of his parts, but unfortunately he's a little bit stolen by Togo Romero. Togo Romero is going to try and control this ball. He's got two players on it and he sends the next shot back, but unfortunately the ball goes wide. Very difficult shot to make there when you have been gang tackled by two of your opposition players. But he managed to get the shot away and unfortunately it didn't quite go between the uprights. Or up a hang, waiting to roll the ball in. Thomas has got the ball, checks it, controls the ball, keeps it going, he's waiting for one of his players, waiting for Dada Mills to try and get away out the front. And, and Thomas still in control of the ball, he's going for it, and there goes the siren for the end of the first half. But as I said, the umpire will stop the play at his discretion. We've got Frankie goes, Frankie's going for goal, but unfortunately he has drawn a foul. That'll be the end of the first half of the second chucker. The horses and players have got 60 seconds to go and have a rest or change horses and come back with our polo here in Malaysia. And uh, Peter and Natasha are always giving very, very generously of all of their products. So thank you very much for your support, Peter and Natasha. So now we're just going out into the uh, field for the last three and a half hour was blown at the end of the last chapter and Royal Pahang come away with the foul. So Royal Pahang has got the ball, he's controlling it, chipping it away. Goes for the large hit up field but unfortunately he didn't get onto it as well as he'd hoped and gives the ball away to Kota Sass who sends the ball to the boards. That looks like a very wide one and it's gone out of bounds and we'll have a roll one. He's going to come away with it. We have all well, is not well done. It's very hard to see here because I'm past Steve Evans is right in the middle of the play. It looks to me like the ball was rolled in and went straight back out over the boards again. Another ball that's come in. Who's coming away with it? Curtis Sass tries to get the backhand but unfortunately it leaves it behind. Ball, the stick was hooked. We've now got Thomas coming away with the ball. 
He's trying to control the ball, bring it back towards goal, trying to get around his opposition. He's still got control of the ball. Manages to evade one of the process guys. He tries to hook the stick, but unfortunately leaves the ball and Manuel picks up the ball. He's now beautiful hit he's running away the ball. We've now got a horse race now between him and Dato Moyes. Mohamed gets here first, he goes to the backhand and he cuts it away, but he may not have hit that as hard as he wanted. And Moyes is taking the foul for or behind chips the ball up. Sends a beautiful shot down the field. Now we're going to have a horse race between the two teams. We've got Dado Moyes coming out, but he's going to try and send a nicely controlled shot. Is he going to be able to control this ball and send it through the goal? Looks to me like he has done it. That is a fantastic goal. Congratulations, Mohamed Moyes. So now we have uh, two all. As I said earlier on, this is going to be a really um, paid. We have two and a half minutes to go. No, the ball's being rolled in. He's going to come away with it. Yeah. <laughs> Ball's taken away here by Royal Pahang. Royal Pahang is sending it up the field. Beautiful shot. Has that got the accuracy to go through? Unfortunately, it's just gone wide. So now we're going to see Princess Abel bringing the ball in. Princess goes back and sends the ball up the field. To his teammate. Goes for the shot, unfortunately is it behind, but also draws a foul at the same time. <laughs> Penalty. Winds it up, he controls it, he's gonna just chip the ball up here, look for one of his players to get out in the clear space and hopefully send the ball. He's got Salad and giving him a little bit of um, static there. He sends the ball up the middle. That uh, looks to me like Thomas might be going to get there first. No, lovely backhand by his teammate to try and cut the ball into the goal. And yes, wonderful goal scored there by, by Franco. So uh, in the 15 seconds left in this chucker to see if uh, Trim for the last 30 seconds. And that's unfortunately uh, the end of the game. We didn't even get to play the uh, last 30 seconds. So congratulations team. Congratulations to Kodasas, Ibo and to the rest of the teams. That have to say a few words. Dato Mohamed Moyes. A big hand for Dato Mohamed Moyes. Thank you, Sally. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, first of all, I'd like to thank all of you for uh, having to support the... Uh